Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at April O'Neil from the third wave of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimates figures from Super 7. So you can see on the front we have the personalized manhole cover with April's head and then you have two cameras here on either side. If we spin it around to the back we have the classic TMNT logo. If we go ahead and remove the slip cover you can see the figure inside. As always very reminiscent of the original Playmates toy from the 80s. Comes with a slew of accessories, including three head sculpts, which I think is pretty cool. Spin it around to the back, you get a little bio for April. So if you would like to read that, pause there. And this is done in the typical, like, you know, uh, subway brick motif for all the packaging, which I think is pretty fun. So all in all, it looks pretty great. I'm going to go ahead and get her out of the box here, and we'll take a closer look. So here she is out of the packaging. She looks pretty good. She's got the bright yellow jumpsuit, just like the original toy with the blue pinstripe going down the side. She's got turtles written on the back. And even as a kid, I didn't really understand why she had turtles written on the back. I guess just maybe so you could associate her with a toy line because she's not a turtle herself. But I mean, as a kid, I'm thinking to myself, well, one, why is she wearing a giant yellow jumpsuit as a news reporter? But why would that giant yellow jumpsuit have turtles written on the back? Like, just to let everyone know that she's associated with them? I don't know, but... I, whatever it is what it is you can see she has a little press pass that you can hang around her neck which i think is pretty cool i like that got her microphone here uh we do have a bunch of different sets of hands you can see i have a gripping hand here and kind of a more open hand we'll get into all those in a moment i think the head sculpt looks pretty cool i have a feeling that this is supposed to be kind of like a more cartoon accurate head sculpt because it's got the much lighter kind of more reddish brown hair but still kind of has the facial features of the original figure's head which I think is kind of neat. Now, if you want the 100% authentic uh, toy experience, they do have a head here that exactly resembles the original April figure's head. She had much darker hair there. And you can see how it's kind of the same facial expression and, and detail there, just with kind of a different hairstyle slash hair color. So that's pretty cool. You also get a uh, head here with a headset. So April is all ready to play Fortnite. No, I'm just kidding. This is, I assume, you know, while she's doing a story or maybe working in the booth or something she's got. Or maybe just communicating with the turtles. She's got a headset molded on here. I kind of like the more cartoon accurate head, though. I think that's a good idea, and I like its inclusion here from Super 7. So I think I'm going to leave that on for the rest of the review. Uh, it's on a very, like, basic little ball joint here. I'm going to go ahead and just take the press pass off so I don't lose it. But you can see it's just kind of a little barbell system here. So you have like a ball joint at the base of the neck and then one at the base of the skull. Very tiny, much smaller than I thought it was going to be. And so that just pegs in there. You can kind of look side to side. You can look down a little bit, look up a little bit, a little bit of tilt side to side, but not much. You have a nice hinge there in the shoulder as well as a rotation. You have a hinge and a rotation here in the elbow. You have a hinge and rotation in the wrist. In the waist, you have a swivel. It's not, I was trying to see if there's some kind of front to back movement. There's really not. It's just kind of swivel side to side. Now down here in the hips, it's a little interesting. So this area here, uh, kind of covering the entire hip assembly is kind of a softer rubbery plastic piece. And I'm assuming that's just like I said, so it can kind of cover the hip assembly, but still not really get in the way. So she can kick forward here. She can kick pretty decently out to the side. And it's kind of funny with all this kicking pose ability in the bright yellow jumpsuit, now I'm starting to get uh, Kill Bill vibes. <laughs> Can't really go back too much because of the butt flap. It can go back a little bit. There is a thigh swivel here as well. It's a little hard to get it to move, and it doesn't move all that much because there's not a lot of space there, but it does have one. You have a hinge and a rotation here in the knee, and then down here in the ankle you have a hinge and a rocker side to side. And be a little careful because when I got mine out of the box... The rocker side to side was kind of stuck and I was really afraid I was going to break it off. So just kind of have to rock it a little bit until it eventually pops and then you can kind of get the movement going there. But yeah, she's a pretty cool little figure. Nice articulation. Uh, I had a little bit of a paint snafu with the blue here on the pocket. I had to kind of scrape off a little bit because they kind of messed up and there's a little bit more paint there than it should have been. But oh, all in all, I think it's pretty good. I think she looks pretty good. So we saw all the different heads that she has. She has a bunch of different hands here. Uh, she comes in the box with, let's see, let me get the right ones here. So this is a closed set of fists. That's what she comes with in the box. She does have two grasping hands. You can see one, right now she's got one holding the microphone. Here's the one for the other hand. She does have an open set of hands. So there's one on there and here's the other one. And then she's got a trigger finger hand. 
uh, one for each side because she comes with this little pistol. And I decided to put the pistol in ahead of time because it's actually pretty difficult to get into the hand and actually get the trigger finger to fit in the trigger spot of the gun. But it can be done, so I wanted to show off that it can be done. And you can see these are actually uh, vertical swivels as opposed to most of the rest which are horizontal swivels. Let me just go through. Yeah, these are pretty much all horizontal swivels, but the the gun hands are vertical swivels, which is kind of interesting. So that gun was included with the original figure, so that's why they included it here. Uh, we also get a couple other random things, some ninja stars. You get two ninja stars here. You get two versions of the communicator. So she has the kind of closed up. I can never hold on to this thing because it's so tiny. So you have the little communicator here closed up, but you also get an open version which is very nicely detailed inside. You can see she's talking to Donatello there, really nicely painted. Now, I don't know why they didn't just have one version that opens and closes. I'm assuming they didn't want to kind of risk the integrity of a hinge here, so they just did two separate pieces, because if we take a look at her next accessory, this little uh, attache case, the hinge is kind of wonky. It's a little messed up. Uh, it's kind of warped, as you can see. I can't really push it down because of the way it's made. So there's always this big gap here. And as a result, this doesn't really peg together all that well, which is kind of a bummer. Um, you know, there's some kind of console or something in here. There's a little section in here where you could put something. Uh, she does come with this little flashlight. And as a kid, I always just put the flashlight in here. You can see the end is painted silver, which is nice. Little red on and off button. And you can kind of put that in there and then close this up. But, I mean, it stays closed well enough, I guess, but it just, it looks so bad with that big open space there, and I don't really understand what they did. So maybe the no hinge on the communicator was a good idea because they they kind of messed this one up a little bit. It's not terrible, but it's a little messed up. Uh, you also get this camcorder and tripod, and the tripod legs don't seem to want to stay pegged in together for me. Um... Plus, you, you have this little camera, which is kind of neat, and it just pegs on there, which is nice. But, you know, if you're, if she's trying to do a news story, you know, this thing is, is taking footage of her kneecaps. Like, it's not really to scale. It doesn't really make any sense. I don't know why. Like, this looks more like an R2-D2 companion than a, a tripod to use as a camera. If she's trying to set something up so she can do a news story, you'd want it to be about here. And I wish these could telescope or do something or whatever, but... So the tripod's kind of worthless in my opinion. Now you can take the camera. It is pretty good. Nicely painted. You got silver for the lenses. You got a little red uh, record button on each side. And this is how the original toy worked as well. And it was a little goofy to me. But you have this slit. Instead of just having, you know, like a, a little piece down here she could just grab onto with a handle. You had to kind of feed this on top of her hand like this. I mean, you know, she's just kind of looking like Robocop or something with like a camera arm. It's just it's a really weird design. But like I said, I believe that's how the original toy was as well. So they're just replicating that here. It's not really their their fault. But I would have much rather just had a little handle or something just so she could hold it. Because you can't really hold this up to her eye in this case because of the way... And honestly, she can't really get the microphone that close to her face either. Just the way her joints are. So it's a bit of a bummer. Again, you know, they're kind of just replicating the original toy and I get it. But at the same time... You know, they could do something, but without having double jointed arms, that's never going to get that close to her face. And they kind of don't do double jointed arms for these, which I get. Um, but it is what it is. So the camera is nicely detailed, but it's just not super functional, which is kind of a bummer. Um, yeah, that's not, not really anything else I can say or do about that. But And of course, you do get the sprue piece here with all of the accessories, just like all the releases get where they're all done in the the one color just like the original toys so we do have that going on here and just for scale real quick here is Raphael so she is a little bit taller but not too tall I think she scales nice I think she looks pretty good I'm gonna move the ankle there so she stands a little better so they look good together I think that's cool I do appreciate that I don't know I just I'll be honest, April, you know, she's a human figure in a line of crazy, colorful mutants. So, of course, she's always going to seem a little bit bland just because she's a normal human character. And that's not her fault. That's just, you know, you have crazy turtles and other random characters and giant warthogs and rhinos. And, of course, they're going to be a little bit more exciting. But the one thing that kind of lets me down is while there are a ton of accessories here, 
some of them are just a little goofy. Like, I like the communicators. I love the extra heads. The extra hands are great as well. But the camera, the tripod, and the suitcase really just kind of fall flat for me. The suitcase just doesn't look like it's going to hold together. That, that hinge doesn't look like it's going to stand the test of time. And the way it's made, it causes that giant, like, amount of space. So this thing just looks kind of super goofy. And you can see all that, that air through there. Like, that's just a weird look. And that just doesn't kind of work. Um, the camera looks okay, but again, and it's not their fault because they're replicating the original toy, but I would have much rather just a normal handle because the way she holds it is kind of weird. That I can forgive because, like I said, that's coming from the original toy, and maybe this is as well, but it's just such a small tripod, and it's very flimsy. The, the pieces don't really want to stay pegged in, um, and it's just so small. It just doesn't make any sense. So while if, if they're just trying to straight replicate the original toy, I get it, but I feel like they could do a little better. They could make a few little improvements, make this a little bit taller so it makes sense. Uh, if they can't, you know, get it to, to actually telescope, which I understand. Uh, they could at least just made it taller. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I do own oh, the press pass. I do like the little press pass. I think that's fun. So she's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with her. I just think as a figure, she's a little bit less interesting than what else is available in this wave. And some of her accessories, while she does have many are just kind of a little hit or miss. So, you know, I'm not telling you to pass on her, because I do think she's a nice addition to the line, and I like having the April character, because I love the April character, and I want her to be represented. I just feel like there are a couple things they could have done, a couple minor improvements to really make this figure work a little bit better, and, you know, they just didn't do that, which is okay. I mean, it, it is what it is, I guess, at the end of the day. So at the end of the day, April's a pretty good figure. I mean, she's definitely a very important part of the fiction. She's a very iconic character, so you're still going to want to add her to your collection. But some of the accessories are just a little lacking, and I wish they had just done a little bit more to improve some of these things. If it's shortcomings from the original design of the original figures, I feel like that's something that they could have tweaked and improved upon a little bit just to really make everything really, really work. Um, but I really do like the inclusion of the more kind of cartoon-accurate head sculpt I think that's really fun, and they do give you the more original toy accurate head sculpt as well, so if you want that option, I think that's really cool. So, a couple of things I really applaud with this release, a couple of things that just don't really work, so that kind of puts her a little bit in the middle ground, so it's going to be up to you. I mean, like I said, I think she's a very iconic character, so I think it's really fun that they got to her early on in the line, but if you're really just kind of picking and choosing if you're on a budget, I could understand if you want to skip this one. I mean, like I said, while she's a very important character, she's still just kind of a basic human action figure in a line of crazy, giant, colorful mutants, and that just kind of makes her a little bit less stand out in the line, which is a shame, <laughs> but it is what it is. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.